Hello there, and welcome to episode 202 of my series where I try to play Norway perfectly on GeoGuessr. That is, I aim to play the maps of each and every single one of Norway's 356 communes to a GeoGuessr score of 25,000 points each. Today we have made it to the commune of Jastad, or I guess the locals would say Jastad, with slightly different stress. And um, yeah, Yashta is located down south in Norway, close to the southern coast, but it is landlocked. And yeah, what can we say about this place? We got the E18 running through it, and it's been improved and rerouted, so it doesn't really run through any civilization here, except for this one place up here where they've put a tiny zoo in and various commercial ventures. Uh, Yashta is, I guess, an agricultural community of old, although I wouldn't bet my money on it. And other than that, well, I don't know much, but yes, I've been there once and uh, I've walked around for a couple of hours, but other than that, I have absolutely no experience with the place except for getting, uh, coming through the train every now and then. Um, yeah, so what can we expect? I guess we can expect a lot of woods. And lots of wrinkly roads, and hopefully will not be on the 18. But I see this road as a very potential geoguesser lure, and then it's this lopped off bit that I don't hope that we will be on. So let's have a look at some facts about Yashta, and then we get going. if it's a sunny playthrough most of the areas the maps i've done in this area have been sunny and playthroughs or full of snow well, mm, well slightly overcast and uh <laughs> well should it be possible to find where this is once we pinpoint the position now let's see so yes that is this area sort of roughly here and I really hope we're not on this road, because then I could be on a very long goose chase. So the question is, should I go east or should I go west? If I go east, I could find myself on this one. But um, I'm definitely not on one of the main roads of the area, that's for sure. I doubt we're on the 4... well, actually, we could be on the 418 when I think about it. So this is going sort of northeasterly for the more time being. And that is... Okay, that's very atypical of the roads here. That's a long straight bit. Hmm. Could be up here. Let's see what happens once we come a little, a little further along. Yeah, little pockets off to the side of the road where traffic can meet. And okay, we got this must be a sawmill of some sort. Oh, we might actually be coming up on some civilization, but I'm still, I'm still puzzled, puzzled about the direction. East, northeast. Okay, kids on a bicycle. That could also spell civilization coming up. Oh, brief glimpse of winter. Oh. Early spring, I think. Oh, we're going up. Greeting. Well, that's interesting. I have absolutely no idea where greeting is. So, let's, oh, here it is. Okay, that would explain the direction. So, now the question is, where are we? Uh, so, we had that long straight bit. So, that means we're down here somewhere. Let's see, was that long straight bit around this bend? Mm, almost. So let's see. Mm. 
Yeah, so most definitely on this bit. And I think we just exited the bend, didn't we? Yes, we did. So we're just where this bend has ended. That should place us there, I believe. Let's hope the game doesn't have other ideas. Uh, gotta put it there. 40 meters away. That was almost a very fateful move, but yeah. And, well, I did not get my wish. Around the E18. And, and this could prove a major bother. Let's see, so there's an axis road off to the side there. What are we approaching? We're approaching Österholt Heia in one kilometer. Okay, so Österholt Heia. That's, um, let's see, it's not here. But it also said information about Kragero. So Kragero is out here. So now we must be. This is Brogelandsheia, Brogelandsheia. It's Österholt. Österholt Heia, right. Now, we got a bend. I have a feeling that this axis road down to the side of it, uh, down here, might lead down to this old road. Could be that one. But no, that doesn't really... That doesn't look, really look right, does it? Now we, we're here on this bend here, I think. Oh, yeah, and here's our access road, I think. Is there a similar one on this side? Well, there's got to be one for this. Yeah, it must be that one. Right. So. Hmm. So we're somewhere here. Hmm. That's a tough one. You see, I'm looking north and I'm looking past that thing. And what if I look east? No, that doesn't work as in at all. Okay, so the only real reference I have is northwards and I also have where this bend ends let's see so if we go for I don't like the look of these the roads to the side either that's a problem so how well we'll do a count anyway let's see one two three Okay, so three to there, and how far we have a little road straightening out. One, two, three, four, five. So three and five. And we haven't made it here yet, have we? That's interesting. Let's see. So. Okay, so that just shows that there's a lot of imprecision here. So I am going to say, this is a tough one, but I'm going to say, well, roughly here. But I have a feeling that's off by a million miles. Or at least... some 50 meters but let's try that oh nice <laughs> oh nice uh, that 1720 so 17 kilometers away from where this road started oh well that's not happening so let's see where the road ends up to towards the west hopefully let's see if we can see any other road numbers here or house numbers um, nothing there but at least that road should be good help later on okay no little tattletale there go on northwest and we're going on a 
and a developed road, which does not come with a number just yet. But we got some road signs up here, and we're gonna have a number. Oh no, this road has no number. Interesting. Holmengård Tridalsvägen. Didn't I see the name Tridal here somewhere? Uh, oh no, uh, it was not Tridal I saw. So let's see. Does it say anything else here? No. So Holman Farm and Tridal. Hmm. Is there anything? Ah, it just says dates back to 1609, is it? That was an impressive age for a farm. Let's see. Now the question is whether this is the right way to go or not. And the road is getting narrower. And the numbers of the road are climbing as is the road itself now this look well i'm just gonna have a look over there i think i'm seeing some road sign will probably just say numbers i guess yes right we're gonna turn around and go the other way looks like the road got narrower as well as we came past that crossing yeah more for holman farm and what do we have here tridal swain again is that the name of this road probably and this will lead us no actually the tridal okay so the tridal road runs in a sort of loop off to the side could we could this bit no that's a very still a road uh, it's sort of fitted though, but not here. Let's see, are there other places we could be? We could be. Um, like up here? Nah. No. Still a little stuck, so we'll have to figure this out on our own. Come on. What does it say here? The Free Church. No. Oh. The Free Church of Yetsta. Well, it doesn't help much. Euslan, the inner road, and here it says Sundbru and Oi. Okay, so that. And Sundebru is to the southeast. So here's Sundebru, the Sunde Bridge. So that, no, but we're not here. That doesn't really ring through, ring through does it? And uh, the road is not sufficiently inland, so. So are we, I don't think we're in this area. Well, we could be. So the road goes to A, it says. But I have no indication of where A is either. And we're not on a ro numbered road, and that's the next thing. <clears throat> And it doesn't say how far Sundebru is, nor how far A is, nor the number of this road. So, well, I guess we'll just have to keep on looking. And the trouble with Sundebru is the, the lack of any lakes or any sea. So here's, oh, here comes the road to Vest. What? Are we way up here? So... Well, I guess, but then we must have been. This must be the Tridal Road. Yeah, here we go. So, well, I must have been down here. 
It's been so long that I hardly remembered how, what this place looked like. So we're looking westwards. We got a garage here. We got this house smack across the road. And we got this little thing here, which I will be inclined to guess is this. And this house has its access road on the side. Yeah. We got to be here, don't we? Yeah, there and there, there and there. And the road does a little number here with the house there. Gonna go for that. Seven meters away, okay. Now this. I would expect this to be at Brugelands Heia, which is over here somewhere. Let's see. <laughs> I'm going to try to find the spot here. So the, I'm going to have a look at something called the Arbel Center. It's a hairdresser called Solo Ankplossen. <laughs> Kaffe og Skroll. Okay, so that's a cafe or something. And we've got a savings bank. If this is... Oh, here we are. Here we are. If this is... No, oh, oh, I was supposed to read bunk plus, and I couldn't see the B. Now I can see it. So bunk plus rather than the banks, the, the bank square rather than <laughs> the, 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 uh, the, the moan and groan square. Right, okay, so hmm, directions. Well, we got this building, so we're looking. Um, looking at the southern third of it. So that would put us about here, I think. Yeah, if I miss my 20 meters, no, I'm not down there, so that should be good. Nice, and oh, thank goodness there was a house here. Please let that be visible on the map. Here, I think we are treading our, or threading our way down towards Sundbru, which is down here. So that could just put us anywhere from here to here. So we need some guidance. Interesting piece of road. We're 10 kilometers away from the start of this road and we got a road sign coming up telling us that we can go to a place called Mu. Someone called Mu living here and I guess we have to go across. Yes, here's the road we just passed. So that means, let's see, so we've got this house here. We've got two houses actually. Three, if we count that thing there, we are on the bend. So I guess we're looking at these guys. Just want a little firmer confirmation. It goes a fourth house and a fifth house. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah. I think you're looking, mid looking midway between these two perpendicular. And if we look south, we're sort of looking at the middle of this house, which I would guess to be this one, but uh, I'm having my doubts slightly. This one's quite close to the road. One, two, uh, here goes the next one. No, I think we're looking at the house on the right. Which was this one, and I'm looking at the middle of it. Yeah, that kind of rhymes with how where we are on the road as well. So let's try that. Be two meters away, and we have completed. Yes, star. 17 minutes. Nothing spectacular in terms of a play playthrough, but I think that gave a, fa gave a fair indication of what Yesta looks like. And uh, that's it. Yasha in the bag. 
episode 202 in the bag. Check in tomorrow for episode 203. Until then, bye-bye. 